Okay, what we have here is my homemade compressor out of a stainless steel gas tank, complete with refrigeration compressor, pressure control, pressure gauge, give me an idea what's in there, about 80 pound, pressure relief valve, regulator, and a tap hose at the top, and underneath where the leg is, is a drain over here we have me uh, furnace out of a couple of old um, kegs reinforced with concrete a hole in the side a couple of arms so we can swivel the lid back The other, the other part which I've made is a um, oil heater or oil reservoir for me burner with a high temperature high pressure hose high pressure to about two and a half thousand psi high temperature to about 250 degrees full of waste vegetable oil in the bottom of it we have a 2000 watt heating element I'm not overly happy with having a heating element in it due to the cost of running a heating element but I get the temperature to about I don't know, 30, 30 to 40 degrees Celsius and then obviously the burner now on the burner we have the oil in we have the gas and the air and the air regulator and at the back here I have a like a cyclonic wind setup can regulate the helps rotate the air coming through so it helps mix up the air with the fuel and that just sits on the back no fan I don't see the need to have a fan and then the burner it just slides just sits straight into there to about that mark and then it's started with LPG which is there and there it is there so what we'll do is we'll just fire it up and see how it goes sorry about the shaking on the camera
stuff. It's not working at all.
This is actually my first burner, run by LPG. Pretty crude. It's got a jet down the middle there, welded into the end of it. Operates purely by Venturi. Very expensive to run. Used to melt aluminium quite well. Do some casting, but very expensive to run. Oil burner, very cheap to run. I get the oil for nothing. Alright, until then, I'll talk to you next time. See ya.